All right, NordVPN or Surfshark VPN. You're watching this video, you've heard of both of these VPNs because let's face it, they're kind of everywhere. Like their marketing budgets are big and often they're in your face, especially here on YouTube. So if you're a bit of a VPN skeptic, like I am, I, I can't blame you for wondering whether one or both of these VPNs are just marketing hype or if there's actually substance to the product. So I tested them and I can now tell you which one of these two VPNs offers better speeds, more devices, and perhaps most importantly, the best bang for your buck. I'll be jumping into my comparison in just a minute. In the meantime, if you wanna check out discount links in the video description below, I've got those for Nord, I've got those for Surfshark, and not only will you get a discount, you'll also be supporting the channel, so thank you. Also, I'm not gonna do this thing on YouTube where I make you watch to the end of the video to get my conclusion. My ultimate conclusion is Nord is probably the best VPN for most people, but there are exceptions to that, and I'll be explaining where Surfshark could actually be the better fit for you as we jump into these sections. The first one being interface and server selection. So interface, basically meaning design. I'm gonna give the point here to Nord, and here's why. With Nord, you get what you see on the screen here, which is this really intuitive map-based interface. You can basically scroll through any country in the world, most countries in the world, over a hundred, in fact, and select the server that you want to connect to. So if you want to watch The Office, anime from Japan, or maybe South Korean content, that's really popular now. Well, it's really easy to do with Nord. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm talking about content I'm blocking. Really, I want to focus for now on the design. Nord has this great design. Surfshark also has a good design. It's just not quite as polished as what Nord offers. It's a more traditional list-based server selection, and it's fine. It's just not quite as flashy as what Nord offers. So while Surfshark doesn't quite have the visual appeal of Nord, the design is a bit dated. It actually has a feature that Nord did away with years ago, and that's server favoriting. So if you want server favoriting, Surfshark's going to be the best option for you. That's a small but handy feature. I like it, but you can basically get the equivalent with Nord with the Recents tab. Now, in terms of server availability, you can't go wrong with Nord or Surfshark. Both cover over 100 countries. I think Nord has 111 and over 6,000 servers with NordVPN. Surfshark is no slouch either. I can't remember off the top of my head how many servers it has. I think it's around 3,200. Anyway, we'll show the updated server figure here on the screen, but you get a ton of servers with either one of these products. Probably most of you, you're gonna wanna connect to kind of the main servers in Western Europe, in the US, maybe in Japan or South Korea for content purposes. If you did want servers in sort of less popular countries, say in the Middle East or Africa, then Surfshark actually has better coverage there than Nord does. Now for speed, we're basically comparing Nord's Nordlinks protocol with WireGuard. And the first thing you need to know is that Nordlinks is actually based on WireGuard. WireGuard is an open source VPN protocol that essentially the fastest VPNs today are built on. So if you want a fast VPN, you probably want it to be using WireGuard and essentially both of these VPNs do that. With Nord, your speeds are gonna be fast. How fast? With Nordlinks, we got an 11.1 .1 speed loss on average. Keep in mind, every VPN is going to cause speed loss to some degree, but if you're only losing 11%, that's pretty exceptional. With Surfshark, we experienced slightly higher speed losses of 17%, which also, again, is notable. TLDR, both of these VPNs are really fast and you're going to have minimal speed loss, whichever one you choose. That said, if you're playing high bandwidth games, if you wanna stream 4K consistently, I'd probably go with Nord, just because at least in our tests, we did get better speeds with them. Although actually, interestingly, with gaming, Surfshark outperformed Nord a little bit in that we experienced lower ping with Surfshark than we did with Nord. And Surfshark also has dedicated gaming servers for those of you gamers out there. So if you wanna reduce your lag in Warzone or unblock content on Steam, Surfshark is probably going to be a very good option for you. For those looking for everyday browsing, streaming, kind of more normal day-to-day -day stuff, I think Nord is a perfectly good option. All right, now let's talk about the fun stuff, which is content unblocking. Which of these VPNs, Nord or Surfshark, unblock more content for us? The short summary is that both of these VPNs, Nord and Surfshark, are really good at unblocking content. And the countries where they weren't able to unblock content are countries where you're probably not trying to access video content in the first place, like Azerbaijan or Indonesia. Really, I find that Netflix matters the most, right? The most number of people watch Netflix as a streaming platform, and they have the greatest variation in content depending on geography. So like what I see on US Netflix could be very different than what you see on say German Netflix. NordVPN unblock content in 25 out of 25 countries. But I will say that Nord did want Hulu, BBC iPlayer and Disney Plus as well. Surfshark also did really well. Weirdly, it did struggle a bit with our testers with Canadian Netflix, not sure why that is. But besides that, Surfshark worked more or less seamlessly for streaming. Surfshark also has what they call a smart DNS feature and that's this. Basically what smart DNS allows you to do is access geoblock content on devices that you might not traditionally use a VPN for. So think of like a smart TV or a gaming console. So if you're getting a VPN for streaming, honestly, you can't go wrong with either one of these. Surfshark, yeah, it did have that issue with Canadian Netflix, but besides that, performed really well, comparable to Nord. I'd probably go with Nord, just because Nord is a better VPN overall, as you'll see shortly here. But uh, yeah, both very good choices. As always, you can get the lowest price on either one of these VPNs by using the links in the video description below. So I know a lot of you watching, you're getting your VPN for content unblocking, and then 
Also, a lot of you watching are probably getting it for privacy reasons. So the first thing I'm evaluating Nord and Surfshark on is do they have RAM-based servers? Any VPN company today should have RAM-based servers. If they don't, it essentially means that if a government were to seize a server operated by a VPN company, they would have access to whatever's on that server. With RAM-based servers, those are wiped more or less immediately. So that's a very important privacy feature that both NordVPN and Surfshark offer. They both have RAM-based servers. However, NordVPN takes privacy a step further with its Onion over VPN feature. So basically what Onion over VPN does is it routes your traffic through the Tor browser. And basically Tor is an extremely secure method that you can use to browse the internet with. Sort of like anonymity on steroids. Most people don't need Tor. Tor is pretty slow overall. But for those of you watching, maybe you're journalists, maybe you're dissidents, maybe you're just really privacy oriented, then know that Nord's Onion over VPN feature is a great addition to its privacy suite. Both Nord and Surfshark offer multi-hop where your traffic is routed not just through one, but through two servers. Now Surfshark offers something called no borders mode, which is designed to operate in restrictive regions like China and Russia. Surfshark also has camouflage mode, which essentially hides the fact that you're using a VPN. Nord VPN also has this, by the way, they call it obfuscated servers. What's nice about this feature is that it allows you to hide the fact that you're using a VPN, which means for me in my day-to-day, -day, I'm less likely to get capture prompts. In terms of audits, both of these VPNs have been audited multiple times by independent third parties. I mean, do you think I'd include a VPN in a review and not have it be one that's been audited multiple times? No. Now here's where I'll give a point to Nord. Nord is based in Panama, Surfshark is in the Netherlands, and I believe the Netherlands are part of either the Five, Nine, or Fourteen Eyes Alliance. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's basically an intelligence sharing agreement between Western countries. Personally, for privacy features, I care about RAM-based servers, I care about multiple third-party audits, I care about corporate transparency. I don't really care too much where a company's headquartered, but if you do, go with Nord because they're in Panama, they're outside of those alliances. Now, the cool thing about both Nord and Surfshark is they come with a bunch of additional features, and many of these features are privacy related. So with Surfshark, you're gonna get something called Clean Web that basically blocks ads, trackers, malware, and essentially adds an extra layer of privacy to your internet browsing. With Nord, you also get an ad and malware blocker, and you get MeshNet, which I haven't tested extensively, I'll tell you that, but basically it allows you to connect multiple devices and share terabytes of files more or less seamlessly and very privately. Basically what you can do with MeshNet is say access files on a home server while you're traveling or create a virtual LAN for gaming. Also LAN parties, remember those? Ah good old days. Now you can get a static IP with both Nord and Surfshark. And if you want to upgrade to a dedicated IP address, you can do so for only a few additional dollars a month. You can use both Surfshark and Nord at the router level. Both of these are good choices. I just personally found that Nord worked better with my home setup and required less manual configuration. Okay, let's talk pricing. Now, both of these VPNs represent really good value. You can't go wrong with either one. If you're willing to pay for a two-year period or longer, Surfshark is going to come out to be a little bit cheaper than NordVPN. Personally, I think it's worth splashing out a few extra dollars a year, like literally 12 extra dollars a year, just to get Nord because it does come with a broader set of privacy features. And I think they're investing in the product a little more aggressively than Surfshark is. But honestly, you can't go wrong with either one of these. One thing I forgot to mention earlier in the review with Nord, you get 10 simultaneous device connections. With Surfshark, you get unlimited simultaneous device connections. So depending on how big your household is, if you truly need unlimited simultaneous device connections, go with Surfshark. Probably most people don't, they'd be fine with Nord. And with both VPNs, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're looking for a NordVPN free trial or a Surfshark free trial. And technically they don't offer that, but basically you could sign up, pay, and then as long as you cancel within that 30 day window, you're gonna get your cash back. So if you want the best VPN overall, you want exceptional privacy features, you want a VPN that's located outside of the five, nine, and 14 I's jurisdictions, you want a very reasonable price point that's considerably lower than say an ExpressVPN, and you want fast speeds, exceptional content unblocking, go with NordVPN, that's just gonna be the best VPN overall. Now, if you're on a budget and having unlimited simultaneous device connections is important to you, then go with Surfshark. That's going to be a great option. Either way, you're in good hands. I'll see you in this video here. Thank you.